Uh, this is my project for EDSP 400. Uh, for my simulation, I'm going to pretend to be blind. And instead of using the blindfold, I'm going to use some glasses and put black electrical tape on the inside of the lenses. Okay, I'm going to try a simple task of warming up some chicken. I don't know how I'm pushing. Oh, what's that? I wasn't able to do that. Thank you. What is it? Macaroni and cheese, coleslaw, and chicken. chicken. I thought it was a fork. <laughs> All bone. Want some water? Bone. Good job, Will. Daddy, can you give me a water? Well, just not bone. Ready? 
Messi. He's pooping. I had to stop you. Yeah, but then he would have pooped all over the floor. Is, is it recording? Yeah. Signature uh, sandwich meat? Yeah, of course. Thank you. My pleasure. Clear to say that it was a big challenge. Um, even though I was able to complete most of the task that I put myself against, um, I believe that training is needed in order to live an average life. So some of the training that can be used or some of the accommodations are the white tip cane, which in other words is the walking stick, uh, training on how to read braille, um, the use of guide dogs, and environmental training. So one example where an accommodation would have been useful for me was when I was trying to heat up my chicken in the microwave. Uh, my microwave unfortunately does not have braille so I did not know what I was pressing and uh, braille would have come in handy or a voice rec recognition uh, microwave. Um, as far as my experience at Costco it was easier for me because I had the help of my mom. She was my guide and I was also able to hold on to the basket. But if it wasn't for those two, I don't think I would have been able to get 
around Costco even if I had my white cane. Um, another thing that surprised me about Costco was their customer service. Uh, out of the three tables that I visited for samples, none of the employees actually handed me the sample. There was al almost a point where I even pulled down the tray with me. Uh, the last point I want to cover are the reactions I received. Both my mom and my fiance were telling me that people were constantly staring at me and smiling. And even my own sister was smiling and laughing at me while I was eating or while I was trying to accomplish the task inside the house. So in conclusion, I do believe with proper training and accommodations, uh, a person that is visually impaired could live a near normal or average lifestyle. And that's my project for being blind for EDSP 400.